taking my stuff, you hack! Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have left stuff lying around! When I was... Before I met Maya, I only held on to things I could carry or stash. Guess I thought for a second Athenus was gonna be different.
dead meat. Pick the wrong f-
going on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter, have we got an opportunity for you. You don't want to miss it! You look tough. We're friends now. and I go burn my dot I mean notebook and we just never mention any of this again cool cool
and going out over the Echonet. Well, this guy seems to fit the bill. Ah, uh, maybe. Whatever. <laughs> yes! The god named me the new mouthpiece! I'm sorry! Did you just tell me what I should do? End him now! What? No! No, I'm... I, I'm sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to! <laughs> Soldiers are posers! You postulate crap! Here we go! We were walking! I dig her coat. Want it? Me too! The great vault beckons! Come on in! What?! A vault thief! Kill them! What you do? I've got a screenplay! You love me!
You know what? We're running out of time, so what's your deal, big guy? Well, I look and sound exactly like the last guy! Sold! Looks like we've got a new mouthpiece! Yay! Yes, God Queen! I will be your war scream! Okay, great. First task, kill the vault thief. Well, looks like we didn't make it in time to stop the casting, but we can still take out that new mouthpiece.
this thing on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter, have we got an opportunity for you? Don't want to miss. Shut someone up is to shoot him in the face. Good work, V. Those rascals from the festival borrowed spare parts from our homestead. Now, I don't mean to be a fussy neighbor, but we can't even keep the skags out or turn the lights on anymore. Paul usually takes care of this sort of thing, but he's out on chores. So could you be a dearie and go get parts back from those rascals? Sure, I'm always up to chase down some rascals. Our simple folk. We settled out here on account of the isolation rather than despite it. Just honest people, 
work in the honest land, building honest superconductors out in the shed, the way it's meant to be. That's 
a welcome sight. Gonna need a lot of bullets.
drops are bad for the old eardrums. Might as well be doing the foxtrot inside the pressure wall of a Class 12 Sky Shatter Warhead. <laughs> no, thank you. Now you've unborrowed all our spare parts, come on back to the homestead, dearie. I hate to be a bother to you. Usually Paul's the one to settle up on these neighborly disagreements. He's just got a way with people. You are too kind, dearie, returning those parts to us. If it ain't too much trouble, would you mind reinstalling them? My hip's been acting up ever since I tweaked it hauling that reactor core up a flight of stairs. Fences make good neighbors, and electrified fences make well-behaved neighbors. Power's back on! I was worried my custard would go bad right there in the icebox. And now the specimens won't come out of cryo sleep. Anyway, sure is nice to have some help around here. I am astonished by the kindness of strangers. I must insist on some payment. Come on over. Homestead's seen better days. But if you can't take care of your home and your antimatter containment chamber and your family, what can you take care of? Thanks, dearie. Been dry nearly a week now, and let me tell you, the need of the bark watering. Paul ran off into the canyon to get them waters flowing again, but I ain't seen her hair of him. Go get the water running, will you, dearie? Too worried about Paul. He's always getting himself into trouble. I like that about him. He's like the fire water in my iced tea, or the proton bombardment <laughs> on my bismuth. Is that a good thing? Well, sure it is, dearie. How the heck else you gonna get polonium 209? <sighs> Take care of yourself out there, dearie. Stay hydrated and watch your step for loose rocks. Don't want to twist anything. Oh, and beware vermilingua. Thick of quill and rabbit. Oh.
Thank you. Ordinarily, I don't take too well to strange visitors trespassing on our land, but given your fine timing, I appreciate the rescue. Ma sent me. What the hell were you doing in that skag? I must confess my ingested state was self-inflicted. That hungry devil ate all my dynamite, so I dove right down its gullet. I didn't see my dynamite on my pilgrimage through its insides, so I reckon the devil must have pooped or puked it out. Same thing for a skag. If you're here to help, get to digging around in them scat piles, visitor. excrement's been keeping the crop waters from reaching our humble homestead. Now we got all the dynamite, we can set about undoing Vermont's mighty works. Him implements the destruction right there in the offending center mass. <laughs> Finally placed. An eye for demolition on you, visitor. Now, Sink the plunger and blow that poop dam straight to perdition! Another day, another atomized cloud of crap. From the fires of destruction flow the waters of life. A fine job, visitor. Now, I seem to have lost my watch while on my intestinal pilgrimage. Go and let Ma know I'm intact. Though I reckon the stench of our victory may have already wafted her way. Paul got himself ate by a skag again, didn't he? Well, I can hardly complain when I've got running water flowing to my crops and rods, can I? Homestead's better than ever. Here's something to pay for your dry cleaning, dearie. Oh, and I think Paul's got one more job for you when you got the time.
Vault Hunter. I thought we were gunners. Oh, 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 no, not so fast. Time to crush the Crimson Raiders once and for all. Tyrene, send in Brayden. I anoint thee, Ravager of Rollins. an attack on the Calypso stronghold, it's about time! I'm all in, bro. I'm through being the Calypso's plaything. Blood feud! Hear me, bros and bronettes. This is <coughs> our moment. We're gonna ride to the Calypso <coughs> gates and show those posers what happens when you mess with the Crimson Raiders! Crimson Raiders! Into the breach! To the cathedral! Ride, my Crimson Army! Ride toward victory! You're attacking us? Are you serious? He turrets, you shit waffles. Ah, craps. I was wondering where those went. Later, Crimson Traitors! Retreat to Roland's Rest! Fall back! That's a welcome sight. We cannot reach the Calypso stronghold while those turrets are active. I might be able to shut them down with phase shift, but for a task that large, I will need my Iridium amplifier. It is in my secret lab, hidden beneath an old doll mine nearby. Vaughn will show you the way. Well, that went real bad, but as long as you survived, we still got hope, bro. So, anyway, and this is a little weird. Uh, a ghost in my head told me you'd need help getting into the old doll mine? I'm into it. One sec. Cardio live! So, how's my ass look from back there? Woo, almost there! The 
Mine's that way. <sighs> There you go! Happy hunting! Secret lab awaits! Go there now! When my siren powers first manifested, I knew I would need a covert area where I could experiment with them. Using an iridium-based amplifier in the open would draw unwanted attention. It's abandoned all mining. Well, you won't get in that way. I hope you don't mind hooking it, as they say. Honestly, most people are just a senseless collection of shapes and colors to me. When my powers first manifested, a city's worth of me was coursing through my entire body. I laid my hand on a washing machine for balance, and it instantly exploded. We were still finding loose socks weeks later. I realized I had no control over these new abilities, and I needed to find some place where the only person I might accidentally kill was myself. Yeah, that's <laughs> ah! Ah! Responsibility to walk you through each and every step. You must find a way to open those transport doors. Vault Hunter Ingenuity, which is to say, you should start breaking things with reckless abandon!
remote domination is proving oddly satisfying. Oh, right. Lilith usually offers some affirmation. One moment. <laughs> Kudos. Mm. Yes, that will do nicely. remains of my old employer's mind fill me with nostalgia. Ah, the good old days when I was an ambitious researcher, led only by limitless creativity and unbound by archaic <laughs> concepts like ethics. You earned it! <sighs> 
if we are to stand a chance against those turrets.
some money. Now, why not spend it? Pandora, it seems the elevator to my lab is irrevocably broken. You will need to find another way underground.
front. That grunt to fail. The first time I ever heard the name of the Iridian homeworld was from Leda's own lips. We were driving across the desert in my turd buggy when we came across some ruins. The bots scattered out, chirping and beeping. I keep an eye out for the racks while Leda starts digging in the sand. Then she looks up at the moon and says, a saucy little minecart called Kate. She will show you the way. It was a brief and tumultuous affair that ended when our tracks went separate ways, as they say. <sighs> so it goes. Now, caress the minecart. Just trust me on this one. Oh, shut up, Kate. Hunter, the entrance is just down that corridor. You are nearly there. There it is! My Iridium Amplifier! We'll need to bring it back to Roland's rest. Disable those couplings to begin preparing it for transport. For the record, I never let anyone inside my lab. 
but for you, I will make an exception this time. Amplifier. I believe one of those switches is more than up to the task. Well, I see why Lilith always sends you to do, well, everything. For now, we can install the amplifier in Roland's rest. I've already instructed that human sculpture Vaughn to assist you in its transport. You can meet him in the garage downstairs. Hey, Vault Hunter. So, my head ghost told me to help you drive an Iridium whatever dealy back to Roland's Rest for safekeeping. Still into it. Waiting for you outside. No rush. I got some sweet tunes. Oh, yeah, Digby Vermouth. Classic. <laughs> of Handsome Jack, before he became the torturing, mass-murdering CEO of Hyperion. Back when he was just a coder, a husband, and soon-to-be father of the aforementioned Angel. There's a hidden chamber behind that portrait, out of the way. Ah! Don't worry, that button is perfectly disinfected. I never even touch it with my hands. From our findings in the vault, I... It may be it. I recover Jill's childhood toys. Start there. You were looking for a stuffed toy Thracian tetra bear. Just as cuddly as the real thing, minus the neurotoxic claws. Captain Bear, who is a bear? He is a bear, Captain Bear. Hey, Angel. And who is this guy? Captain Bear, he eats crime. Oh, we must be eating a lot with that big belly, huh? Hey, Angel, darling, what, what's that on your arm? Did you do that? I don't know where it came from. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah, sweetheart, it's... it's real pretty. Hey, uh, honey, give her a minute! I was... There's a memory from when Angel was first manifested. There are other items she might have interacted with. Look for an old vending machine. Sorry, I didn't see you standing there. Uh, don't say any of those words that Daddy said, okay? Okay. Is the machine broken? Yeah. Looks like no candy for us. Hey, why don't you go back into the waiting room with Mommy, darling? Huh? The doctor's gonna be here any minute, okay? I sit. What the hell did you just do, Angel? Sirens, it seems using her powers became instinctual soon after acquiring them. She had no concept of what a phase shift was, only that she could talk to machines, and more importantly, that they listened to her. There should be next.
there it is. Simply touch it to trigger the memory. Mommy! Daddy! Help! Look, you filthy bandit. Just give us back our daughter, okay? Are you kidding? She's a freaking siren. I'm gonna be a trillionaire. You and your wife get out of here before I sick my turrets on you. Forget the kid. Go make another one. No, I want to go home. Shut up, kid, or I'll... Hey, what the... I want to go home! Let's get down! Girl scars run deep. There's one more artifact. Look for a Hyperion communication satellite. My sweet little angel, you're in that chair for your own good, okay? You're such an asshole! Language! Look, sweetheart, I can't let you out because of what you did to your mother, okay? I just couldn't bear it if something else happened to you. I didn't mean to. Shh, I know, darling. That's why you need to stay in that chair. But I got you something. That chair is connected to the entire Hyperion network. Now you can see through every satellite we own around every planet in the sky. You've got the best view in the whole universe from that chair. We're gonna work together. You and me, kiddo. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. I love you, Angel. I love you too, Dad. Angel spent most of her life chained to Hyperion technology. With those memories, I think I have enough to fix the water purifier now. Go to Roland's rest, and I will attempt to interface with it. You ready, bro? Let's do this! I could listen to Digby's velvety tones all along, but my head lady told me we gotta move this iridium thing or thing.
spider ants. Hey, you're gonna want to keep your distance. Those things are even uglier on the inside. Long story. Also, smash spider ants are a bandit delicacy. Just saying. COB! Let's mess them up! Welcome to the danger zone, punks! That's it! Blood feud! Boom! Pedal to the metal! Just step on the thing with your foot! Just don't stop! <laughs> Hello, recoil! Got blasted! Cargo safe! Hunter. Uh oh, way's blocked. Vault Hunter, 
shoot that tank! Drive, bro, drive! War path! Hate it! My blood is pumping! I love this planet! Go, Sun Smashers! I mean, Crimson Raiders! Woohoo! Uh, home crap hole. <sighs> 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 uh. Vault Hunter, bro. <laughs> I gotta say, I've been on a lot of crazy road trips, but your driving skills, they're tasty, bro. They're day! So, if you wanna ride sometime, you just let me know, bro. Bro trip! Whoa. Sorry, I uh, got a little carried away there. Anyway, guard the Iridium flippity flu and rally the troops. When Lilith gives the word, it's go time. Oh, can you ask the lady ghost friend to stay out of my head from 8 to 11? That's where I keep the special thoughts. shift. Ah, oh, all this makes much more sense now. Angel's memories did indeed contain the information I required. It seems the Hyperion water purifier had a planned obsolescence chip inside it. I'll simply override it and we can be done with this water chip nonsense. We did it, Vault Hunter! And all it took was reliving the traumatic childhood of a fallen angel. Let Vaughn know his water purifier is working once again. Slick, wet, shiny, glistening. Oh yeah, also uh, no one's dying of thirst, so that's pretty good too. I miss having a clan, you know? Just being on her on my own, it just doesn't feel right. I need a community to order around.
going on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter, have we got an opportunity for you? Don't want to miss. Okay, Tannis' iridium amplifier is in place, and Vaughn's forces on the ground are at the ready. We're not gonna get a better chance to move on the Calypsos. Incoming transmission from- The Calypsos, got it. This should be interesting. Hey, turd farmers! Check this out! Take a look out the window! Troy's about to blow your spine out your ass! Tannis takes out those turrets, you lead a ground Ground assaults are my specialty. And whoever has a death wish can take a trip. are also Ava, you good to back up the Vault Hunter? Yeah. You sure? You were right. You gotta run toward one. Vault Hunter, get geared up and say your goodbyes. This is it. Talk to me before you head down there, killer. You acquired my fire. Well done. <laughs> 